All right, guys, welcome back to Destroyer Gray Productions. My name, which I haven't said yet, is Philip Chandler. I actually go by Chandler because I was in the military for eight years and it just kind of stuck. So, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. And this is a video that I didn't really want to have to make. Okay, I don't like having to work through issues with a company that you think is going to be legit when they say they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee you expect them to withhold that 100% satisfaction guarantee. Am I right? Okay, so a little bit about what's going on. I'm not gonna say the company's name because we're still in contact, but I will say that the customer service is absolute crap. Absolute crap. Absolute crap. Okay, um, I will say though that it has to do with these. And in a previous video, I made a little uh, a little review, showed you guys a little bit how, about how it made the car look a little bedazzled. Um, when I bought them, I thought that they were going to stick on the headlights, not the plastic grill of my car, which makes them very susceptible to a damage, which is not okay with me. Uh, I had talked to the sales manager when I had ordered the stuff and I actually had placed the wrong order and I messaged her and I said, Hey, I think because I had purchased, um, surface mount halos and then or fog lights. Yeah. Fog lights. I had purchased surface mount fog lights, but then the halos that I purchased for the headlights didn't say surface mount. So I was like, Oh crap. I think I got the wrong thing. So, I messaged their admin services and I said, hey, I think I placed the wrong order. Can you help me find the right products for my car? Because I'm really not sure what I'm looking for here. This is the very first time that I've ever ordered some kind of uh, halo aftermarket lighting and I don't really know what my car needs. So she said, okay, well, do you have lamps or do you have projectors? And I was like, I think they're projectors, but I'm not really sure. Can you take a look at my Instagram and tell me if this is what I need? So she looked at my Instagram and she said, okay, glad you contacted us because I want to make sure that you guys got, you got the right, right products. So I'm going to set that up for you. Appreciate you contacting me before I send out your order. I said, all right, awesome. Glad that you could get me the right things. How long is shipping? Cause I was hoping to get them on by the weekend, which I did get them by the weekend. I got them like four days after, um, talking to her. So with that being said, I got them and the halos, if you have a, or the, the fog lights, sorry. If you have a 2015 plus, you know damn well this is too big for a fog light. Too big. So I contacted them and I said, hey, fog lights won't even mount on any surface on my car at all. Think I got the wrong ones, not sure what I wanna do. Um, and I was under the impression that these went on the headlights themselves, not on the, uh, the outside of the, the grill. So she said, okay, I'll get you my refund policy. Cause I asked for it. I said, what's your refund policy? Can you send me in and then send me the address so that I can get these back to you? Thinking, you know, maybe they would, uh, be a little apt to keep me, you know what I mean? As a, as a customer but not the case. They literally told me that there was a 25% restocking fee taken into consideration. I paid $510 for the set and that was at 40% off. So first of all, I didn't think that was very fair. Second off, they want me to pay shipping to send them back. So if you put the math into consideration there and, and take into consideration because my order was over $99, the shipping was free. <laughs> so, they want me to send all this stuff back. I'm not sure what this is going to cost to send back for shipping costs. Uh, I would assume it's probably between the price of 25 and $40 because of the weight of the box, but I, I could completely be wrong. And this little monster is being crazy over there. So yeah, guys, um, trying to ruin my video. So I want to know from you guys what you guys think. So the website, if you go to their refund policy, it says 404 domain cannot be found. So there's not a refund policy on their website at all. That's why I asked them. And they have multiple 
um, complaints through the Better Business Bureau and their Facebook is full of people asking for refunds and they're not giving it back unless they pay a 25% restocking fee. Now, this is where it gets good. These little plastic sleeves are all they have to do to restock this thing. So I've just made small cuts. They can literally reseal these. So you tell me why it takes $204 and that's at a discounted price. These things were 40% off, so that's like $800 normally. How is that fair at all? Now, with that being said, guys, they sent me the wrong stuff, right? They sent me stuff that they told me would work for my car. And I was under the impression that it went on the headlight itself. Did not know that it would be on the plastic. So you tell me how that's fair to charge me $204 plus shipping for something that wasn't even my mess up to begin with. So I had talked to April, which was the person who uh, originally got me the premier or premium Oracle Halo set that was sent out to me. Um, she said she was gonna get me all the stuff that I, that I needed and it was all gonna be great, it was gonna fit, yada yada. On their Facebook page, it says that they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee that, they, that when you order with them, you will have no fear in products fitting, working correctly, and you know the jazz, all the, all the hooped and hopped that everybody has to say about their company, that they're the best and that's why you should pick them. But after I had talked to April, she said, I'm extremely sorry for this. I understand, blah, 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 blah. That's what people do. It's de-escalization because I was kind of upset in the emails that I sent. So with that being said, um, she decided to get Mike, who is the international sales manager, who came on and said, I have looked over your emails with April and the conversations that you've had, and it seems because they are not defective or broken, that they have to abide by their refund policy. Now let me tell you something, their website doesn't have a refund policy at all. If you go to the website and you go to the page that says, click here for our refund policy and how to return stuff, it says 404 page cannot be found. And their website hasn't been updated since January 1st, 2017. Now they get Mike on there and he says that uh, he's looked over the emails and the only thing that was in question was that I had ordered the wrong set of halos, which I had stated with April in the beginning, saying, hey, I messed up my order. Can you make sure, because I don't know what I'm doing to get me the right parts for my car. Looked at my Instagram, said, here you go, this is what you need. So with that being said, I thought I was gonna get everything I needed. That's why I placed the order and that's why I had confided in April, the sales manager, to get me the right products that I needed, right? Well, I basically told them that I would tell you guys what was going on and that if they didn't decide to make this right and rectify what they've done as a business, which would be a great smart move on their part, that I would tell you guys and I would basically blast their business on YouTube, on social media everywhere. And it, even if one sale was deterred from this company, that would be okay because not, what, not only would I feel okay knowing that I saved somebody the bullshit and the inconvenience of going through a company like this who does business like this, but also they would lose money, which I'm okay with. Even if I take a hit on this, I wanna save other people from possibly losing money on this because a 25% restocking fee on lights like this, that's not even okay. These things are so cheap and dinky and small, it's literally gonna take somebody 15 minutes to put this back together. So how is that $204 justified? I just don't get it. So I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think that I should do with this? I mean, ultimately I told them that the ball is in their court and their next email is basically going to be the um, trigger pull on what they wanna do. They either wanna shut me up which I don't really know at this point if I want to be shut up by this. I think I want to let them, I think I want to let you guys know and tell you guys so that you guys can uh, know not to go through this business. But we'll see what happens. Their next email, if they, if they rectify it and they make it so that uh, it's right, 
with their 100% satisfaction guarantee, then we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much all for this video, guys. I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys the 411 on what is going on with these premium Oracle headlights. So, yeah. Here you go, show them again one more time so you guys can see. They do sell and distribute for Oracle themselves, so I don't know how Oracle is as a business. I would hope they don't do business like this other business does, but who knows, the parts don't fit my car. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think I should do on this situation? Till next time, guys, see you later.